What is up all you awesome and amazing YouTube people out there? My name is Kuda Malloy and I'm bringing you another product review. This is the Nesco food dehydrator, food and jerky dehydrator. What I've got going on in here is some rice and I put the rice at the 125 degree Fahrenheit setting and basically I'm drying out some rice for a camping trip that I'm going to be taking pretty soon. A little camping backpacking trip and basically I wanted to dehydrate some of my meals ahead of time because obviously I'm backpacking, I don't have the fortunate luxury of refrigeration, so I feel that dehydrating the food ahead of time might make things a little bit easier. What I've got over here is about three chicken breasts that I boiled. First of all, I boiled them in some water, let them boil a little bit longer than you normally would boil them. I took the juice out, saved the juice, which is basically gonna become chicken soup for me. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, who knows. But I'm planning on going backpacking in a couple days, so I just wanted to do everything ahead of time so I don't have to panic last minute. But basically what I did was I took the three, th the three chicken breasts out of the broth, let them settle for a little bit, and then chopped them up pretty uh, pretty chunky sized pieces. It's about the, th the size of my thumb, so there's a piece right there. And then what I did was afterwards I seasoned them. So I put a little bit of lemon pepper, I put some... Uh, dried chopped onion on top and that'll absorb some of the excess moisture as well sprinkled with a little bit of red wine vinegar to give it that sour like tangy kind of feel and then I just got this thing this is the unicorn mills pepper mill love this thing and I have the pepper mill loaded up with these which is the black tele cherry peppercorns I believe these come from India they're awesome they're a little bit uh, larger than normal sized peppercorns which is a good thing Basically, you get all of that. That's real size right there. Basically, you get a really nice aromatic peppery kind of flavor with notes of like rose and woodsy kind of undertones to it. But it's they're very delicious. Like it's not just regular pepper that just gives you heat. This actually has some, some flavor to it. So there is a link to the peppercorns, also the pepper mill down in the description there down below. There's also a link to this Nesco food dehydrator down in the link there down below. The next step in this process is once the food gets dehydrated, what I will do is I will then go ahead and vacuum seal it. So stay tuned for another exciting video. Thus the reason why you might wanna be subscribed to this channel. So down there below there is a subscribe button in the description, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And the reason why you wanna be subscribed to this channel is because we're always trying to find the best and highest quality products we can find at the lowest possible price is basically the best bang for the buck. So if you like seeing videos like this, that's a good reason to subscribe. So with that being said, let me get into the process of how I would dehydrate the chicken now because the rice basically I boiled, I cooked it thoroughly through. It is a arborio type of a rice. Here, let me unplug this so you can actually hear me a little bit better. And then what I'll do is I'll show you the actual rice. So putting this down on my countertop. Basically what I've got going on here is there's some nice arborio rice and it's getting kind of crunchy now. What I want to do is I want to dry it out uh, maybe just a little bit more and see the color change there between maybe the darker tan color and this lighter white color. I want to wait till this lighter white color reaches the dark color. But I've got two trays of rice going. The top tray was a little more full than the bottom tray. The bottom tray is dehydrating pretty nicely. I think I've had this going now for about, I'd say about 15 minutes. And once again, I was on the 125, 130 setting in terms of Fahrenheit and temperature and all that. And basically it's pretty simple. Somewhere around the halfway point, I would switch the trays. So from the bottom going to the top, the top going to the bottom. So that way basically there's even air that's venting around this to basically pull the moisture out. And that's what I'm trying to do is I'm really trying to dehydrate the food so that then I could vacuum seal it and then take it backpacking with me and not have to worry about refrigeration, as I said. Uh, one tip I will teach everybody is if you are going to dehydrate the food for use in like a backpacking type setting is try to avoid using oil as much as possible, like any kind of oils, uh, olive oil, butter, fat, any of that kind of stuff. I will show everybody a trick that I showed everybody in my camping video, if you remember that from about two months ago. These bottles are amazing. This used to be Elmer School Glue. Basically poured the glue out, drained it, drained it, drained it, rewashed it, soap and water, got it thoroughly cleaned. But these things are indestructible. They will hold fluid very well. You can almost sit on these and they still won't bust a leak or anything. But this is the one that I have designated for olive oil, obviously. I will bring this with me on my backpacking trip and then basically put this on 
the chicken or the rice after I've rehydrated it with boiling water. I'll have to show you that in a future video. I am going backpacking this coming weekend, so that should be pretty fun. So stay tuned for those videos from that backpacking trip. But overall, in general, the trick to this whole process is to basically boil whatever it is I'm going to dehydrate, get it cooked thoroughly, completely cooked through, and then basically spread it out on a a cutting board or some kind of wooden board or whatever it is to basically pre-dry it ahead of time, maybe like an hour or so just to get any remaining juice out or or moisture, or whatever. Could all you could also use a strainer or a colander, you get the idea. Then make sure your item is seasoned. Try to season it as much as you can before you start the dehydration process. Obviously, when I boiled the rice, there was salt in the water when I boiled the rice, so at least I know that that's taken care of. But in the terms of my chicken, basically just recapping, I boiled three chicken breasts, uh, took them out of the water, which was boiling in this pan, took them out of the water, the liquid or whatever, set them on a cutting board, let them sit for, for a few minutes just so they could cool down a little bit, and then went ahead and chopped them up into pieces that are about the size of like my thumb, let's say. Then what I did was I seasoned them with some, in my case, I used lemon pepper, sprinkled them with some red wine vinegar to give them some sour tanginess. And then I put some uh, chopped onion in here, which is already pre-dried. And that, that chopped onion in there basically helps to pull out some of that extra moisture, but also there's a nice little transfer of flavors between the onion and the chicken before I stick it in the food dehydrator. So at least the chicken will pick up some of that oniony kind of a flavor. And then once again, the pepper, unicorn pepper mills, this thing is amazing. This is the Magnum, I believe it's called. You can adjust the coarseness or the fineness of the pepper. And then using the black telecherry peppercorns, which have an awesome aromatic, it's a peppery flavor. Like it's not just the heat, it's you're getting a little bit of the rosiness. I would, it would be the best way to describe it, the woodsiness flavor there's a notes of this and that and the other thing it's just so amazing the peppers are so amazing so what i will do is my rice is almost about done i think this has been going for about 15 minutes what i'll do is i'll probably let it go about another five minutes remove the rice and then go ahead and put in the chicken and i will spread the chicken probably on three trays just because there's so much of it and try to dry that out nicely what i will do for the chicken is is i will put the chicken in at 160 because obviously right here jerky meats 160 degrees is the temperature that they would like you to dehydrate at i guess it's for sanitary reasons you get the idea but also it gives it a more complete dry keeps it basically preserved so then the chicken i'll probably let go somewhere around a half an hour 45 minutes maybe even an hour just depends on how evenly spread out across the trays it is uh, but this thing is great the nesco dehydrator is an awesome product i love this thing it's been working great for me especially since i'm prepping meals for backpacking trips also, like, it's a great date idea. If I'm going out on a date, like with a girl I met or whatever, what I could do is dehydrate some food ahead of time, go out, take a motorcycle ride, take a car drive, go up and down the coast, do like a mini road trip, and then basically reheat with some uh, boiled water, which I have another video <laughs> explaining that whole process, and I'll do another video in the future soon. Another good reason to be subscribed to the channel. And it's a good day. It's a good idea. You know, you take your significant other out. You get, it's a great idea for the kids. Like if you're going even just on a day trip somewhere, you're going up the coast, down the coast, across the country, whatever the case may be. You want to keep some food basically ready to go in a in a sane manner so that you're not having to deal with refrigeration all the time. Dehydration might be the the a solution for you if you want to go ahead and pursue that route. Anyways, there are some links down below to some pretty cool products, including the Unicorn Mills Pepper Mill, the, te the Black Taylor Cherry Peppercorns. There's a link to this, the Nesco Food Dehydrator, down in the description there down below. There's also some links to some other cool products. If you go ahead and go into that description section, there's also a link to my Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash Cooter Malloy product reviews. If you want to go ahead and check out that Facebook page, like, follow, subscribe on there if you like what you're seeing. Also down here below, there should be a subscribe button for here on YouTube and also a like button. Thank you so much. And I appreciate you to everybody that has liked and subscribed so far. I am Cooter Malloy and I will catch you all on the next exciting video.